series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. And that's something you almost never see nowadays. When you fake it, you're at the 15-yard line on a PAT as opposed to just going for it from the two. I'm sorry. I know they got it, and congratulations to them. But it's just not a good play. I mean, the, the risk-reward is really off the charts. Not in your favor. Run your offense out there. Put it on the two-yard line if you want to go for two. But I'll be darned. They ended up getting that one, didn't they? Folks, welcome back to the biggest stage in sports, the Super Bowl. And now we get down to the good stuff, the fourth and final quarter. Okay, right. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and ten. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. They'll look to throw now on first down. This goes out wide for Mixon. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Second and six. They'll drop to throw. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Another great play defensively. They've been sharp on both sides of the ball, Charles, but that interception means that this defense can very well keep them down to single digits on the scoreboard in this game. And that's certainly something to smile about, isn't it, partner, if you're on defense? Because your goal every game is to pitch a shutout, but you and I both know that's pretty unrealistic. But to hold a team below double figures in a game, in an NFL game, that's certainly something to take pride in. So after the INT, it's Brady. Throwing left side, it's complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout. And I actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter doing the old hold up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours. And they certainly weren't kidding. Into the red zone, it's Brady. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back through the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And New York set to take the field. And their Super Bowl hopes are dwindling here in the fourth. That AFC crown from two weeks ago starting to seem like a distant memory. And this one just has not gone as they had hoped. 
Nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And what else could go wrong at this point? This is going to be a defensive touchdown as they keep piling it on. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. Extra point forthcoming. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he gets in. Well, no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And New York set to take the field. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, We've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests. But in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD. Well, what has been a fantastic game for this defense has been rough for this offense. And certainly a signal caller, Charles, that's thrown all these interceptions. Another one there. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And would you believe it? This is caught in the end zone. And a fake extra point works to extend their lead by two. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And New York set to take the field. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. Yeah, absolutely right. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for Buccaneer TD. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things, but these guys are going to be free wheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an eye. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it to the goal line, but it's incomplete. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. 
And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. Under pressure, and they got to him again. And Dalvin Sue with a sack. We've seen that a ton since he entered the league in 2010. Part of my vocabulary isn't that great, but to me, there's only one word that fits his front seven today, and that's dominant. Four and five sacks is already rare in one game. Getting to more than six in one contest while winning by this many points, an absolutely astounding effort by every player involved. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Here's the Jets punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. It's fielded at the 45. A pretty good punt, but a nice 13-yard return. And the Buccaneer offense will be set up well as they take over. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin. A Super Bowl title within reach now as they try to polish this thing off. This is caught, and they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, they certainly have the look of a team with something to prove, don't they? All week, as we prepared for this game, we kept reading about how they said they're going to play a full 60 minutes this week. Has nothing to do with their opponent. No disrespect intended, but they wanted to be people of their word, playing this thing all the way out, trying to finish it strong. Brady will look to throw for it. It's complete. And he's not going to make it to the goal line. They've been perfect on the night in two-point conversions, but not here, as this time they come up empty. The Bucs ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. <laughs> Don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Use that as ammo. Exactly. Going. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling no, again. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. They'll look to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. We're backed up here. Tough spot. Needing 11 yards to pick up the first. And he can't escape. And down he goes. Looks like a nine-yard loss. And it also brings up four. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have won the Super Bowl. And they will hoist the Lombardi Trophy to cap an amazing season. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey. And now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, they'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it.